it's me oh boy okay something so i have something special to tell us today you know they will never tell you whom you are they will never tell you that you are strong than them you are stronger than them you are powerful than them you are anointed than them they will never reveal this to you why because majority of people out there can be like you and the worst part of it is that they hate to see you do better than them they hate to see you become more better than them he said, woe, woe, that is Isaiah 33. He said, woe to you, destroyers who have not been destroyed. Woe to you, betrayers who have, you who have not been betrayed. When you stop destroying, you will be destroyed. And when you stop betraying, you will be betrayed. <laughs> you see what the Lord is saying? You know, that is why sometimes when people have betrayed others, you know, doing all sorts of things. They think that their own time is not going to come. You know, if you are up there, you are betraying people and you are getting little, little thing. You know, I have a lot of my friends. I won't show their photos. <laughs> and even if I, I show their photos on internet, I still have their proof. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I win what they did to me. But the truth is this, if you are up there, you have this spirit of betraying others, you know, taking advantage of others, hurting others. This is what the Lord is saying. Let me repeat it. Isaiah 33, Isaiah say, what to you, destroyer, who, you whom have not been destroyed, what to you, betrayer, you whom have not been betrayed. When you stop destroying, you will be destroyed. And when you stop betraying, you will be betrayed. You know, there's something that's coming to my mind. When the Lord said, shake together the same cup, the same thing that you measure to others will be measured to you. You know, that's why sometimes many of us, uh, of us don't know the reason why Things are going wrong or things are not moving well. And maybe, maybe when we get to some certain stage or some certain age, the things that we have done in our youth age and we think uh, it's already passed by, it's already things of the gone. No. Whatsoever you do, either in your in your young age, you do it for money, you do it for love, or you do it for benefit, they, you, they must surely come to wait for you in a particular time. Is there waiting for you? That is why if you are that kind of person who benefit, who, or who feel good in betraying others, in, in speaking evil against others, doing also that is the worst ignorant on earth. Yes, believe me. If you because we have a lot of people out there who feel good in you know in gossiping others, in pulling other people down, you know, trying to hurt them. They have a lot of people. We have a lot of people who have this mindset. But the truth is this: the moment you get tired of betraying others. Without asking, without asking for forgiveness or without going back to them and ask them to forgive you. Why? Maybe you know that they are still alive and you refuse to go and you feel like nothing happened. The moment you stop doing that, other people will also do what betrayed you. The moment you start to, you stop destroying others and maybe you feel tired, you, you retire. <laughs> You go pension, other people will do what? We betrayed you. You know, look at it. When, when Jezebel killed whether Nathan had been Nabon and took his land, God ordered him and said, The same place where you kill this man, the same place you will also do what? Will be killed. What happened? It happened. The same plot that her man plotted against Esther, that is the same place where they buried him. You know, this is it. Just like uh, how will I explain it? It's just like you, you you look at this. If I decide now to place the water in, on top of this place and raise it up, 
automatically it will come to this place. But why it is going slowly, why it is moving slowly, because it will not rush, it will go slowly, slowly, here. Oh my God, is that? And this particular place will not feel what? No, we don't feel the pain. <laughs> it's our landlord. <laughs> you know, this particular place, let me explain it. This particular place, place will not feel what the pain, will not feel the water until it gets to it. So if you are that kind of person who benefit or who have, who feel good in between others? One day, the water that starts from here will also reach, what, will reach this place. Believe me. So, if you are that kind of person who always feel good in between people, you know, putting people in difficult time, maybe someone pay you or maybe someone give you money to do so, you are setting yourself a mission of no return. Believe me. You may not be aware. You may not be aware, but what you are setting yourself is something that you may not be you, you may not be able to escape even in your lifetime. Believe me, I'm not trying to make it look like scaring, but I just the fact truth. Because if you make someone to cry or you make someone to face difficult time and you enjoy it, you laugh, you mock. It's just like someone who went for market, who go for market to go and buy something. But eventually, if you reach market, you will feel good. You know, you feel good if you have money. But when you come home, maybe you consume everything. When you come home, you check your wallet, nothing is inside, unexpected, nothing is inside, even your bank. You will feel bad. Or maybe you decide to follow friends to go to a restaurant and all those stuff. You lavished your money and you you figure out you just remember that the money you're supposed to use to pay your bill that is the money you have spent unnecessary you start to feel bad you know what I'm this is how it goes so if you are that person who is between others destroying other people's life destroying their feeling their thought the truth is this it will surely come back to you one day don't just feel like you escape it the best way for you to solve the problem is just to go back to them and admit that you have done it. No matter the consequences, no matter what it may cost you, don't just pretend everything is okay. Just go to them and plead for mercy. That is just the only way. Because you can decide to pray to God, but if that person is still alive, believe me, that prayer can will never be answered you just like you are praying a prayer like carrying a basket to a river and expecting it expecting to carry water or bring water home with a basket it's impossible you know what i'm saying so stop betraying because you are setting a trap for yourself you know if you are a hunter you you understand what it takes if you set a trap for what for a, ra a rabbit or any type of animal in the bush you know that per venture you are maybe you are passing by the same trap you said catch you you know that was when i was at home those days i do used to go to farm with my bro with my friends and all those stuff so there is something we call what um, something like far what far bush it do used to fly like uh, you know like bags but it's, it's just like what fowl it fly mostly in africa we, you can see it here in in the western world so we do used to set it where there is cassava where there is cassava you just set it there was one day that uh we set it so on our way coming back one of our friends stepped his leg on what on the trap he was shouting then what do i say this he feel the pain that the animals do used to feel whenever he do it it catch them so that is the same thing you are doing maybe you may be rejoicing maybe they pay you maybe because of that they love you there's one thing that one of my friends where i do used to work you know she was just like uh, trying to question me asked me about my friends what they are saying behind them what they are doing i look at her i look down look up I said, I have nothing to give. I, I'm not that kind of person who betrayed friend because I want you to do what like me. If you don't like me, 
I love myself and I like myself. So you asking me question is not part of what something that will make us to do or to like each other. You know what I'm saying? So you don't stop betraying others because you and the worst part of it is that you can never progress more than someone you are betraying. Remember blessed.